Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Crossing Field from Sword Art Online. Alright, let's get right into it. I'll give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson. It's the awesome chorus and post-chorus section that goes like this. Check it out. into it okay so let's get it okay so there are many parts in this lesson let's break it up into one two three four five six parts right so yeah six parts okay so step by step let's go first part all right and starts on the F here so middle C is here go over an octave to the C that's where we start on is the F here so it goes F G A up to the high C down to F E up to the high D C down to A, B flat, A, G, B flat. Okay, that's the right hand for the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. It goes like this. It goes F, G, A, up to C, down to F, E, up to the high D, C, down to A, B flat, A, G, B flat. And that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D minus the first chord, which is D, F, A, Second chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. Third chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. And the fourth chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Yeah, so with these four chords in mind, so D minor, A minor, B flat major, and C major, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, C and D minor together. E and A minor together. After C, B flat major by itself. Right, continues. After B flat, C major by itself. Just like that, and that is the first part. One more time. So it goes together, two, three, four, and then together, two, three, four, here, two, three, here. Like that. Okay, yeah, one is faster. That. Moving on to the second part. Second part continues right hand. It goes A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G, A, B flat, A, up to the high D, A. That's that for the second part. So a lot of G, A's, okay? So no problem. Let's go. I'll tell you how many. So it goes A, and after that goes four G, A. So one, two, three, four, and then B flat, A, up to D, A. That's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, four chords here. The four chords are two B flat major chords, which is B flat, D, F, so two of them. And then the third chord is E half diminished, which is a four note chord. It's E, G, B flat, D. And then the fourth chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with those four chords in mind, so B flat major twice, E half diminished, and then A major, the two hands together, goes like this, so it goes, right hand starts on the A, and then instantly B flat major after that by itself. A and B flat major together. A and E half diminished. And A major by itself, like that. One more time, so it goes like this, it goes here. Just like that for the second part, back to back the two parts that we've learned when we play like this, check it out. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you put the left hand chords as long as it's just around the piano. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be chords, uh, always, like it's still the same here. So B flat major, same here. B flat major, same here, same here, etc. Whatever you want to do. So yeah, anyways, let's move on. The third um, part, let's continue now. So uh, let me see. Um, num, 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 num. Okay, the third part is really similar to the first part. In fact, it's pretty much the same except for the last Last note, oh, okay, so the, yeah, everything is the same except for the last note on the right hand. Instead of B flat, it's a C. I'll show you what I mean. Everything else before that is exactly the same, like this. All the chords, all the right hand, um, and all the melody uh, and rhythm and all this kind of stuff. Check it out. So the third part's nearly the same as the first part, like this. Instead of B 
B flat, C this time, like that. And that is the third part. One more time for this third part, so it goes like this. C, like that, okay, so yeah. This third part really same, pretty much similar to the first part, okay? So yeah, with that in mind, the three parts that I've won so far would be played like this. Like that, moving on to the fourth part, right hand continues, it goes A, G, A, G, A, G, A, and then G up to C, and then B flat A up to D, G, like that. Okay, so it's kind of similar to the second part, but in some ways it's different as well. So here we go, one more time, so it goes A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G, C, B flat A up to D, up to G. Yeah, okay. Left hand is, however, is the same four chords as the uh, second part, okay? So the four chords here for the fourth part is D minor, D, F, A, second chord B flat major, which is B flat D, F, third chord is that four note chord, the E half diminished, which is E, G, B flat D, and then the fourth chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So of these four chords in mind, so D minor, B flat major, E half diminished, and A major, the two hands together goes like this. So once again, right hand starts first, then D minor by itself. A and B flat major together. C and E half diminished. After that, A major by itself. Okay, now actually, yeah, the left hand is a tiny bit different, my bad. So um, the first chord, instead of two B flat major chords, this time it starts with a D minor. That's the only thing. So D minor is D, F, A. Just take that in mind. Okay, so yeah, that's why the fourth part is a little bit different. Not exactly the same as second part. Um, not the same as the same way where like the third part and the first part is really similar. Okay, so yeah So fourth part one more time so it goes A and then D minor after that like this and I have to say. After that A major by itself like that. It's faster Just like that back to back the four parts so far we could play like this check it out Fifth part and sixth part, we'll play it like um, uh, first. We'll learn it first, then we'll put everything together. All right. So it goes like this: it goes right hand for the fifth part. It goes F G F G A, and then B flat A G G A down to D, and then it goes two A's, another A like that. Okay. One more time. So it goes like this: F G F G A, B flat A G G A down to D, and then A A A. Like that. That's the right hand for this fifth part. Left hand, four chords, the four chords here. It's G minor, which is uh, G, B flat, D. Second chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. Third chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. Fourth chord is F major, which is F, A, C. So with these four chords in mind, G minor, A minor, D minor, F major, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. After A, G minor by itself. A and A minor together. D, D minor by itself, F major by itself, like that. One more time for this fifth part, so it goes like this. Here, two, three, four, here, like that. Moving on to the sixth and last part of this section, right hand goes like this, A, G, F, down to C, up to G, F, E, C, D, 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 like that. That's it, one more time, so it goes like this. A, G, F, C, G, F, E, C, D, D, D. And that's it for the right hand, left hand, four chords finishing off the four chords are B flat major, which is B flat D, F, second chord is C major, which is C, E, G, and then finish with two D minor chord, which is D, F, A twice. All right, so with those four chords in mind, B flat major, C major, and two D minor chords, the two hands together goes like this, A and B flat major together. G and C major together, and D and D minor together, after that, D minor by itself, finishing off. That's it, okay, so together, 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 here, that's it. 
yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So back to back, the whole thing just goes pieced together like this. So that's pretty much it, okay? What you can do, obviously you can add arpeggios to make it more exciting and bigger on the left hand patterns. So you can be like, okay, I'm gonna make up something on the spot, improvisation based on the chords and everything. Yeah, pretty fun stuff to do. You can just like play around with uh, making up like the left hand um, chords based on the uh, uh, what could it, uh, the improvisation that you know. Okay, so if you can do arpeggios, if you have learned that in your uh, piano lessons, you can just apply that to your left hand for all the chords, and then yeah, pretty much have fun with it. Okay, so as for now. Hope you enjoyed this learning method, that's how I always teach. Uh, check out my other piano tutorials on my channel if you like this method. Uh, there's like 2,600 um, more than that on my channel for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. Check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my piano methods and teachings. Linked in the description below. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.